My sister planned her bachelorette party at an adult entertainment club and it was a complete shit show. For some reason my sister, 23, and her fiancé, 25, decided that the very best way to celebrate before getting married was to have a joint bachelor, bachelorette party. I found the idea of having them together sorts of defeats the purpose of having them, but let's not get caught up on that. Take a wild guess as to where they decided to have these parties? That's right. At an adult entertainment club. The kind where they dance around a pole. Yeah. They also hired a bus limo for the evening. To give you a hint of how the night went, I can start by saying that the cleaning bill for the limo was more than the original rental fee itself. So, let's get to the aftermath of their shit show of a bachelor and bachelorette party. So far, there has been three recorded breakups, four people dropping out of the wedding party, one impending divorce, and the cherry on top, one arrest. My sister was crying to our mom at dinner the other day, talking about how horribly it went and I just snorted. I tried not to, I honestly did. I was trying my best to just keep my mouth shut. My sister ended up asking me what was so funny. I said that I wasn't sure what she expected to happen, when she got a group of people drunk, using illicit substances, and getting bricked up watching exotic dancers. She said that I was an a-hole for judging her and her friends. I said I wasn't judging them, just that literally anyone could have seen that outcome. My mom told me to apologize, because my sister is having to replace most of her guests for the wedding party on the fly. I did end up apologizing, but I still think I am right, literally anyone could have seen that coming. So tell me, am I the a-hole? Alright, some updates. The maid of honor and her boyfriend did not break up. The other bridesmaid, who is married by the way, was in an Eiffel Tower with two of the groomsmen. One groomsman has dropped out, along with the bridesmaid. Her husband has left her because I guess this isn't the first time. The other groomsman in that group has no Fs to give and will still be attending. We are lucky that by the time the cops showed up everything illegal had been taken, eaten, ingested, or swallowed. I stayed mostly sober and stayed with my sister all night, so she could party and not do anything too stupid. My husband also attended and I had tasked him with keeping an eye on the groom. He decided the best way to keep the groom out of trouble was to get himself extremely drunk. Let's just say that he failed at the task, with his only accomplishment being getting drunk, and with the only casualty being some underwear, a sock and a pair of Levi's jeans. The bus, limo came out as the worst victim in this whole debacle. It needs a biohazard cleanup and maybe some upholstery replaced. My dad is pissed. After reading the comments, I went to see my sister this morning and gave a more sincere apology. She asked me to be the matron of honor and I accepted. If anyone here is free Saturday we still need someone to sing the rose during the ceremony, since my cousin is currently persona non grata. I only know about the breakups from hearsay, but suffice it to say that getting a group of friends who have a lot of history together and giving them illegal substances and alcohol, then taking them out to see exotic dancers is a terrific idea. But only terrific if you are not getting married in a week.